After four hours of work, Vinicio Riva is done. Five days a week, he does odd jobs at a home for the elderly in Vicenza, in northern Italy. Uh, by the way, did you notice something? Yes, 53-year-old Vinicio suffers from a hereditary genetic condition called neurofibromatosis type 1. His body is almost completely covered from head to toe with growths, swellings, and sores. His mother had the same condition, as does his sister. He's had it since the age of 15. His appearance often terrifies strangers. Vinicio recalls trying to take a seat on a bus, but being told by the passenger next to him to sit somewhere else. I wanted to answer back, but I controlled myself, he says. I felt my blood pressure rise. I wanted to leave the bus, but I had a doctor's appointment. There were lots of people on the bus, but no one said a word. Not all strangers, however, react like that. Earlier this month, Vinicio went with his aunt, Caterina, to St. Peter's Square, where Pope Francis approached him and, without a moment's hesitation, kissed and hugged him. When he embraced me, he recalls, I quivered, I felt a great warmth. Aunt Caterina was struck by the Pope's very down-to-earth manner. I looked down at his shoes. They were like this, she says. I thought, yes, this is someone who really walks. And he was someone who, if he weren't wearing that clothing, you wouldn't even know he's the Pope. Since then, Vinicio has returned to his daily routines. He continues to work and root for his favorite soccer team, Juventus but something has changed. The Pope's simple embrace was a signal to millions that underneath Vinicio's tortured surface is a fellow human being. I feel stronger and happier, he tells me. I feel I can move ahead because the Lord is protecting me. However, he still has some unfinished business with Pope Francis. I hope he calls me so we can have a face-to-face -face meeting, says Vinicio. I have many things to tell him. What do you want to tell him, I ask? That's a bit private, he replies. It's between him and I. Vinicio returns home from work on his bike, his dignity far more apparent than his illness.